there and took that one that was giving us all that hard time. Oh, 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 oh. One is calling, yes, I am. Calling. Spin the on every play. I think he was. I think he was. Settle down a little bit. I think they were late to talk to him. Had too many people complain about him that day. And I, that's what I heard. Maybe the lead top player in college. Look, he ranked 16 year old out here playing with six year old. Oh, Talking all kinds of smack about me and Dodge the other day. Now what? <laughs> talking to Barry. This mess of guy here talking all kinds of trash about you. Nah. And I said, you what? And I thought about it. You're not talking about Richard Hall, are you? <laughs> he started laughing. Oh yeah, I'm just messing with you. Last day we'd been in there, had the jeep in there, got it straight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I brought, went back and saw him Wednesday to put the new wheel on. He said, it'll be an hour, but it had some problems with the wiring. He said, he kept going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just told my weight on it. Very good, yeah. I said, I ain't worried about it. I got TV, I got fresh cookies and coffee. I'm good. Yeah, Barry's a good guy to deal with. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got to take Carrie's car up there Monday morning, so. Huh? Carrie's car's got to go on Monday morning. Does it? Just for service. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I asked him if he had the Jeep in there, he got it and I told him, man, he's worried that transmission. I told him, I didn't think that's probably what it was, and he did it. That's the reason I asked him for an automatic when them was started. That had to be quite consistent down there twice, and it was going to have to stop and put that Wow. And I didn't know if it was generic or some warranty stuff. Yeah. I didn't know if it was a generic in a lot of the different vehicles or what, you know, manufacturing, engineering, yeah. Problem. Yeah. 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 They said, nah, link. Yeah, it just popped loose. <laughs> a little e clip or something held it on to come off. I think he said they had a had a change on it and repaired it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, that's a good thing I told you to set yourself up on them. Get your account set up, Chrysler. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got all that set up. Yeah. You can look at TSBs and find out if you know, you're having problems. Of course, you can go to the NTSB and do the same thing. TSB is a technical service book, and it's not something that they're recalling. But it's something that they're having quite a bit of issues with, uh, and uh, so they know they know to be looking whenever say electric motor ones not working, it's not the motor it's the switch. You know, so they you know they have enough complaints. They know the issue there, but they look for you know that kind of stuff to repair. Oh, basically under warranty. And then if they have enough of them, they'll do a recall. Yeah. It's like carries we've had 
I, when I take it back in, one of the things is the, the whole side of the driver's seat, where the, the plastic part is where it's got all the power buttons and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that broke off. Really? Yeah, you know, it's just from getting it out of the car, but it shouldn't have broke. Right. And then I got to ask Barry about again, um, the radio. He already updated the software in it one time for me. Because it wouldn't move. Well, well, no, my, the, the Bluetooth wouldn't work. Um, the uh, the radio sometimes just goes black. So you couldn't work your AC or nothing. And it also, every night, it resets itself. All your settings, you know, like sound or stations, it all goes back to zero. And um, I took it in and he redid all the software and everything. And it worked for just a little bit, it's doing it again. Huh. And I, we got these new phones and hooked them up. Carrie was all excited, had her new phone, finally, it would work on it. And it um, worked for like two days. Really? So I got to talk to Barry. I don't know what they can do, but. Um, well, they, they, they'll fix it or replace it. Yeah. If they think it's a radio problem. I took <laughs> I took air car in and get it serviced the other day, and there was a, there was a flash out and red. Yeah, no, they're all so much of that stuff. Is computer now. Mechanics are basically the same as the software. They have to uh, rewrite programs and they'll fix glitches and rewrite. Uh -huh. So that's what they do is they reflash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my Jeep, though, it don't like to keep time. It's slow. I don't know if you've ever seen that in any Dodge Chrysler product, but you can set the clock, and within a week, it's already like two minutes. Yeah, they'll, they'll fix that. They'll See, fix I, should, I forgot to say something to Barry, because it just I didn't think about it. That's another one of those problems they're having. Yeah. I'll probably worry about it next time I go in for service, but I noticed I'm like, I've never had a radio in a car, you know, not keep time. You know what? He kind of told me what that was, but I don't remember what it was. They actually put a new radio in there for the car, knowing her liberty. Yeah. And it kept doing I think it's probably something in the uh, PCM, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh. And, you know, that's just... It's just the oddest thing. They, like, they made them. They made them so complicated. They make them so much better, and it just you know, where they do everything and then some now. They just can't. Uh, you know, I got them on the interstate. Crazy. Three quarter ton diesel truck, and that thing's got six hundred foot pound torque. You know, pull that building down over yonder and set it on cruise seventy. Yeah. And I got a little over twenty miles to the gallon. That's Good, 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 you know. <laughs> Heck yeah. I bet that hell of a thing getting eight miles. He wasn't getting Oh, he ain't getting nothing. Yeah, well, they put that chip in it, which is gonna, supposed to help it, but I don't know what he, I don't know what his numbers are like right now. That's like my Jeep, you know, I found a lift kit to put a three and a half inch on it, but it'll kill my fuel mileage even more. And um, and I know that bench that'll happen, because the bench I'm gonna do, because it's got 32s, I won't put 35s on it. But, but not do a body lift and get 35 on it. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to look at trying to do, to do a body lift on it. And that way all you have to do is be able to, uh, to, to change your shift linkage down there. And there's there's almost enough adjustment in your shift linkage to do it without putting the kit. I bought a kit for that, that one I had bought because you know, it wouldn't stay in four low, jump out. And I messed around trying to get that kit on it, never could get it right. Put the, I put the uh, original back in there, just to adjust the link, yeah. and adjusted it out and had it fine. When I sold it, it was perfect. Oh. All that stuff's in due time, though. Oh, I bought it what's on it to use it as it is, and eventually I'll play with it. Well, you'll never get out of what you put in. Oh, no. That. Well, like I said, with that warranty I got, I'm never getting rid of it. it I throw money away just by selling it. And be careful when you start making modifications about avoid your warranty. See, I believe... Stuff avoid your warranty. I've heard some people, only, you can only give two inches without voiding it out, but I don't know. I'm going to make sure on that one. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I gotta be careful with. I can't do like some of these, you know, Jeeps are. Right. Like one guy I know put a Hemi in one of them. It's <laughs> warrants his toast, but, you know, he changed the computer, changed right. the all that. Maybe when you do that, you about have to. Well, I tell you what, you, you haven't got that 3.6 motor in here. No, no, oh, I don't. Sweet motor right there. I know, I, I kind of wish I'd have bought the new one, but the deal I got on that one was hard to pass up for that package. 
because you can't, I mean, the new ones without that motor, with that package, you're looking 34, 35, and I got that one for 22. With that same package, both tops, I mean, I couldn't. That motor is better, it gets better, it gets about two or three each on better on fuel mileage. It's got it's got more torque, but is that a three seven in your yeah, that's good. That's a good motor. It's still a good motor. I mean they just they just built that they built that three six and I said they're doing away with the four cylinders and the other six cylinders and that motor just in place like everything. Yeah. See, I love to get rid of Carrie's journey because that car is just I just don't like it, but she wants to get an Avenger. When I had one for rental, when I put mine in the shop, that car was fun. I love it. Well, she needs to get in a 200 then because they're basically the same vehicle except that 200. I want to see your fancy litter. She made lots of them. a more fleet than it. Hey, buddy. It's a lot nicer than the trailer. Yeah. I hadn't got to drive one or get one. I don't know if we even messed with Erica's at all when she had hers. But... You know, for a little more money, you can get a 300 and get nearly to get it. That's true, too. But it's just real perfect. Yeah. It's like, Carrie, she, you know, we really don't need the big SUV. I mean, she just wants to get back to a car. That's all. She wants to back a car. And she likes the mid-sized cars. She really don't like the full-size. Because I told her, we get you a charger. You know, get you something real sporty. You know, whatever. <laughs> but she likes the smaller, you know, vehicles. So, you know, that, you know that, that Avenger is a baby charger. What it is. Exactly what it is. I'll tell you what, that little bull banger in that car, though. That's what I had. It, it was enough to steal. I was kind of surprised by that. You get that. You get that. Uh, you get an Avenger with that. Three six in it. You got a nine pleasure. See Eric's car, she get out on the interstate. She can get 34, 35 miles a gallon. Yeah. And it averages 25 point something, 26 point something. That's just the average combined driving. If you check the trip computer, driving the hunts and driving around the cater and doing this, she gets like three minutes. Wow. To carry a journey with that horse on and get average of 20. It's become such a big difference. I think Brian's going with us too. For myself, is there any way that I could borrow your full load? You know, just trail ride, not mud ride, just for the trail. Okay. Because like I said, it'd be for me to ride because I can let Brian or, or uh, Carrie ride mine. And then I got that old, old red, I call her. And uh, that way we have enough full wheelers. Because I'm getting another one for my brother in November for Austin, so we'll have three. But with everybody going, and this side by side is going to be kind of filled up. So. I gotta get me another trailer. The guy I bought the trailer from, um, so I can see the trailer. That thing, it, it, it's warped already. I mean, I got a mesh floor. And I asked him. Yeah. You're, you're a lot better off with your 16 foot trailer. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna go take the trailer to them and say, look, I told you I was gonna load on it. I figured a mesh floor would be lighter. I said it would have no problem. This thing warped almost immediately, and I can barely get the gate up when it's low. And uh, paint's already chipping off, rusting. I've only had a six foot. And I'm going to tell him, look, I need a, it's only a five foot, five by 12. I say it's a six by 14 or six by 16. And, uh, yeah, because eventually I'm going to get one of the razors similar to Alan's in the sport right now, eventually. That's a toy after at least one of my kids go to college. I told him, you know, he was buying a I said, look, you may be buying you an 18 foot car. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially this truck, something like that would be perfect. Put it in the car, put it in the car. Right. If he had to move a car or something bigger, he had it. Oh, yeah. They don't weigh that much more. No. Yeah, I tried to get him when he was talking about it. And Amanda was going to get somewhere else to get the trailer because they overpriced him on the trailer. 
but they kind of decided to get it. We're supposed to be a place over next to Mississippi. <laughs> around Hamilton or, or Red Bay or something like that. Yeah, over around Red Bay. As a matter of fact, it might be right in there. Well, there's a mobile home. There's like those ones with motor homes, you know, RV. Yeah, you know, well, that's manufacturing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. uh, this is trailer dealer over there, and they're supposed to have the best price really? of anybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I've been told. Okay. I haven't been over there in a while. I'm trying to think of a trailer place. There might be one over there. Well, yeah, but there's a bunch right of manufacturers. Yeah. These guys, we'll see. These, they might be a little better. I know Rocket City was cheaper, like $100 cheaper for these guys. But now the quality might be better. Well, you can go to Madison, you better move. Yeah. They, they will be a little bit heavier. They'll let you go to the channel and that kind of stuff. Yeah. You can haul the car. Yeah. They're right and heavy enough to haul the car. They'll have to get the car back. Huh. See, I had these guys here when I had that little 5x8. I mean, I bought it with no gate or nothing. I just used the 2x4s. I finally had a gate put on. They put it on over here, and they did a real good job just adding the gate to it. And uh, when I sold it, it helped me make the money back off it anyway. But it, it did good. And I was just trying to find a good trailer, and I thought, well, I'll try these guys. If I'd have got a wooden floor, of course it wouldn't work. But you don't line look at better bills. I, I think they've got a website. Uh -huh. You can look at that. We'll look at I'm checking out. If I can find one else, that's what we're going to get. Oh, it's not. I'm going to look and see if I can find one better to sell. I'm just going to put mine up for sale. I'm going to sell it. Try to get close to what I got. Get rid of it. <laughs> Stuff. People, people made money getting rid of Craig Lewis. Oh, I bought a truck out there. I might be able to call next week. Oh boy, out in Georgia's got a... Oh, oh, a 90... Get him up! Get him up! 96 model, 94 model, model, 2300, or 475 speed truck. It's got almost 200,000 miles you want to see. It looks clean. Think about cons. I need, I want something to drive to work or save me on my own gas. Plus two, I want a little truck just if I need you know, something. Instead of worrying about getting a trailer out there. Or you can find those old mid 70 miles of Chevrolet and GMC. Yeah, about a three feet of four speed in it. Yeah, I've been trying to look for anything like that too. Just something. get them cheap. You know, insurance, liability, and mm -hmm. you know, if something goes wrong, you know, who it's fixing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's one thing about a truck like that, you can see what's going on. Oh. So, you know, Chrysler used to have it where you put the key code on it, key access, and you read the code. Yeah, you know, if you've got an electronic fuel problem. They change a lot of that now with all these codes. I've got a code reader. I bought one of those. Oh. Yeah, one of those car MDs. I had to have out mess with it. You can, you can hook it up and read it. How do you get out of that? you have to have it. Or have the computer be a genius and figure them out. And they know do they have to spend more on shops or dealerships. That's the scary part about it. Well, at least all those old advents, they'll read the code for you because they want to see your car. Well, oh, yeah. Now you kind of learn, you know, back, back in the 90s, 2000. Matt sent me real bad about 